first of all before starting uh, as you know that today we are going to start with the poem that is no men are foreign so we are going to start with this poem yesterday we have the preview of this poem and we had discussed about you can say uh the main idea of the poem that what this poem is all about so of course the revision of this poem and in the revision of course we are taking into consideration all the important parts of the poem so the first two paragraph we have done the first paragraph was remember no men are strange no countries are foreign beneath all uniforms a single body breathes like ours the land our brothers walk upon and the earth like this in which we all shall lie so now who will explain the meaning of the first two lines a uh, first passage exactly who will explain the meaning of the first passage yes in the same hands are raised yes explain explain in detail but the first passage is uh, the poet wants to uh, tell us that it is all our conceptions and uh, boundaries created by humans that divide us uh, uh differences do not divide but our mentality does Hmm. Uh, uh, in, uh, remember, no man is strange, and no country foreign. It tell this line from the stanza tells us that we are all similar in st structure, in behavior, but uh, these are the conceptions of human mind that have divided divided us. Hmm. Beneath all uniform, a single body breathes. Hmm. That uniforms are ironical in nature. They are built uh, made to separate us, but they ultimately unite us because. uh beneath every uniform uh, the similar body which has the same similar physiog physiognomy uh breathes has same respiratory system uh and like ours the land our brothers walk upon we share the same bounties of nature we have similar land as that of any other country it is uh the poetry it reads throughout the uh, throughout this passage that it is our foolishness that we uh, we have divided each other Hmm. and after uh, after we all die we will lie uh, we will be buried in the ground in some way or another uh, even our religions might uh, be different uh, our processes may be different but it is the earth we all shall lie in that yes. so finally it means that remember no man is strange we should not consider any man or any uh, person of this world as strange and no countries are foreign no countries are at all foreign okay because we of course share the similarities okay as under all uniforms although we belong to different nations we belong to different areas we belong to different territories but what is the reality that under all bodies there is a, under all different type of uniforms there is a single body that breathes okay like ours the land our brothers walk upon like our land okay where our brothers they also walk upon the same type of land as we people are okay and after death we will all be a part of this earth okay we will all of course be a part of this earth and ultimately they all though different kind of rituals practices they are being carried forward that some are buried some are you can say burned but ultimately as we have been emerged from this earth we will all be a part of this earth right so now second para they too aware of sun air and water and their hands are ours and in their hands in their lines we reach a labor not different from ours okay so ramni yes raise up your hand and tell me what it means yes ramni yes ma'am uh, in the second stanza uh, they refers to the those people who belong to other countries we call them for, uh, foreigners and discriminate discriminate them and fight with them also the mm -hmm. poet says that nature has given all the bounties to all people also just like he has given to us everyone gets sunlight air and water in equal measure which means that god does not differentiate between people from different countries we all do farming during the time of peace when there is no war we live a relaxed life and eat the things given to us by nature mm. further he adds that the way we starve during wars and winter time is the same for those belonging to the other countries mm. even they don't get food at that time 
so he wants to say that foreigners who belong to other country and we both are same and then the poet says that even the ha their hands are same as ours they work very hard just like we do he is giving all the these examples to convey to the reader that there is no difference in us and the people belonging to the other country okay right fine now panika can you explain the meaning of fed by are fed by peaceful harvest and wars long winter stopped what it means what it means yes panika hmm. it means one. that when there uh, uh, when there is peace on the earth we all feed peacefully and when there uh, during the winters when there is war and death each one of suffer together hmm. and uh, and poet aims um, and showing us that we all suffer and prosper together hmm. so ultimately what is there it has been explained are fed by peaceful war, harvest so first of all you will explain that are fed by peaceful harvest and wars ling long winter stop these are the examples of what this these are the examples of transferred epithet so poet is trying to explain through this line is that the conditions pre war and post war conditions means when there is absence of war it means what it means it means that all the people they are living a peaceful life okay they reap a rich harvest they are enjoying the bounties of nature they are enjoying the uh, resources of nature also but when but when there is war the effects of war they are long long after effects of war they have to be tolerated by all the persons of the world whether they belong to or irrespective of their belonging to any part of the world or is respective of their nationality and he has also compared war to that of you can say he has also compared war to that of winter okay according to him as during winter there is no uh, there is always dearth of life there is always you can say shortage of food similarly in our lives also if war prevails if war persists there are the effects in which there is no happiness okay sadness gloom it always you can say it always rule our world so this is how the effect of war is like that of winter so in these lines the poet is comparing the life of people before war and after war that how people actually live it means that there is happiness abundance before war but during war there is always shortage there is al always death decay and suffering so this is what the poet is explaining in these two passages so now i want to ask from you people that what are the different similarities how the poet has explained or on, on the basis of which similarities the poet has explained oneness of the world who will give me the answer just raise up your hand on the basis of only these two paragraphs apart from the uh, 9 c class student i want to also see your caliber that how you people answer yes can anybody from 9 c class yes apart from dia handa arshdeep can you give the answer arshdeep wait dia and ramni if i will not get answer then i will uh, unmute you no yes eva very good yes eva give the answer yes ma'am um there are uh, some similarities like a single body breathes earth like uh, like this in which we all die Uh, hmm. our brothers walk upon hmm. the sun the air the peaceful harvest water and the labor etc yes so these are all what these all are examples of one so okay but how you will explain it in deep yes panika give the answer panika yes how you will explain it in deep i have unmuted you panika 
the poet says that nobody is different or strange we all are same as beneath all the uniforms a single body exists mm. um, so uh, we lie in the same earth when we will die we walk upon the same land mm. uh, we same air same water and sun mm. um, Quite suggests that we all people of the earth are same, and he says that we all are Ardians and are not strange from each other. It is just our mindset uh, which makes us different from each other. Hmm. Even you will explain that he has given various example as he has said that all the people wearing different type of uniforms, but under these uniforms there is just one type of you can say body that these. It means that all people are same in their make in their belt. Okay. And moreover, what type of land we are walking upon upon is absolutely similar to that which our brothers and sisters of the other countries they are also walking upon. So what the poet is saying, poet is finally giving up the giving us the message of universal brotherhood and the effects of war. Okay, so the same effects of war it also affect our lives. It means that how we how we behave. Or how our lives are affected in the presence and absence of war is also same. Moreover, the hands are ours. Okay, means they also have the similar type of hands like we people have. And in their lines, we lead a labor not different from our own. It means that if we have done hard work, labor, and then we have got the result. Similarly. Also, or our brothers and sisters of the other countries, also they have undergone the same process, and ultimately, what has happened that they have got the result of their hard work and labor. Right. So these are the various examples given by the poet here in this, in these two passages, depicting and showing the oneness among people that we all are equal. Understood now? Now, next afterwards. Now see the next para. Remember, they have eyes like ours that way, or sleep and strength that can be won. Sorry, see here. Okay, remember they have eyes like ours that way can sleep. So now see in this line that that the idea of this line, the eyes like ours that way way. Line line is not ending at wake, and then it is carried forward to or sleep. So it means here no comma or no punctuation mark is there, but this idea is carried forward. This line is carried forward to the next line and is finished at sleep. Okay, so when this kind of you can say de poetic device is used by the poet, in which there is no punctuation mark at the end of the line, and the idea of this first line is carried forward to the next line. This is what. This is an example of what is this? This is an example of what? Yes, yes, Dia. What is this? Ma'am, enjambment. Yes, of course. This is an enjambment. This is an example of enjambment. So now, what the poet wants to tell us here is. Remember, they have eyes like ours. Remember means they also have the similar types of eyes like we people have, and they wake or sleep, and they follow the same patterns of life, which patterns of life that they wake as well as they sleep, and strength that can be won by love. And strength means that their strength can also be won by love. Okay. That their strength means if there is any kind of strength means if there are any kind of differences, okay, there is just one way to win them. That is by love. We can by love we can overcome all the type of differences, all the type of difficulties. In every land is common life. In every land means whichever land we go means whichever country we go. There is a common life. There is a similar type of life that prevails there, that all can recognize and understand. Means the patterns are same, the ways are same, and the living conditions are same, so that everyone can come to know that what kind of life it is. So understood this para? Okay. Now next. Next, let us remember when we are told to hate our brothers, it is ourselves. Now the poet is saying, just remember, 
that when we are told by someone to hold to hate our brothers means when we are told to stand against our brothers and sisters or it is said that when we are told to stand against the persons or against the people of the other countries who is telling us to do this it is ourselves that we shall dispossess it is of course those politicians who are telling us to stand against them why they are telling us to stand against them it is just because of their selfish motives it is just because of their selfish motive that they are telling us to do so and when we are doing so it is ourselves that we shall dispossess it is only we that who are who are deprived of this feeling we betray we betray we cheat ourselves we condemn we don't agree on a point okay remember he who take arms against brother and it is only we people who take arms against each other or who or who stand against each other so this is what the poet is wanting to deliver to us that when we are told to hate our brothers and sisters nobody is telling it is just upon the advice or upon the suggestion of the selfish politicians who are telling us to stand against each other and by doing so we are not causing any harm to anybody else but what is there we are causing harm to ourselves only we are causing harms to our race only because we are ultimately cheating ourselves we are stopping ourselves to be one we are condemning every reality of life and it is only we who stand against each other with pistol and guns in our hands and ultimately we are trying to we are trying to finish ourselves so final paragraph it is the human heart that we find that we defile what is the meaning of defile means destroy so finally what the poet is saying poet is saying that finally by doing so what we are doing we are doing is only what we are doing is we are defiling we are we are causing harm to this human earth it means that we are causing harm to human earth our hells of fire and dust outrage the innocent means our hells of fire so when there is war when there is you can say any kind of you can say destruction is there so what is produced fire by you can say blasting of nuclear bombs atomic bombs and these hells of fire and dust and it also leads to formation of clouds of dust in the atmosphere and it removed outrage means then this activity this shows it outrage means it removes the pall of innocence that covers us that shows that human beings are innocent or sometimes we are shown as innocent people but no at that time what happened this removed that pall of innocence out of our faces and ultimately what happened we turn into monsters we turn into you can culprits as we are destroying this earth because we are destroying this earth so ultimately it is just because of this reason that we are responsible for causing this type of harm and remember remember no men are strange and no country is strange so the poet is saying us that we must remember this thing that we people are actually same and we are of course same and we are part of this earth only we should not consider this earth as a you can say as a as separate units but we should consider it as a single entity of which we are a part okay so and it is just because of us that what is happening that we are destroying the earth and when we are destroying the earth so what it means that we are causing harm to nature and it must not be done so james kirk up to this point he is delivering us the lesson that we have same father that is god we are not separate from each other 
okay and we must follow the policy of universal brotherhood that we all are same we all are together we should not consider ourselves different from others because there are of course number of similarities between us as in our lives we live a similar type of life we live or we can we enjoy similar type of life but when we people are not when but when you can say we people are not following the you can say these norms or these realities of life we are ultimately causing harm to our earth because our earth is common we are considering it as separate units that belong to us but no if one part is affected it has its effects upon the other parts of earth also so we are living on a common earth a land is common and we should not support narrow you can say narrow mindedness or narrow nationalism which narrow nationalism that we fight in the name of our nations no this must not be our you can say attitude towards life no this should never be our attitude towards life because wars are not good for us actually wars are never good for nothing they are not bringing anything good because ultimately if wars are fought between two countries what is the end result of war finally there is a force you can say understanding some treaties to be signed and finally there will be agreements if this agreement is has to be happen then why it not why it should not be at the very start before war why even after war just because we we you can say we are the followers of narrow nationalism we find in the name of nations we are you can say we have turned out to be very stubborn in the name of our nationalities but no the poet is saying rise above all these kind of prejudices rise above against all these kind of you can say uh, narrow minded thoughts and just emerge out to come into the light of one idea that is of god that we all are same we all are brothers and sisters and we should not consider ourselves different from others so this is what this poem is all about okay if i will ask you what is the message of this poem who will explain me how are wars i'm oh, sorry what is the message of this poem yes apart from dia who will speak class 9 b yes 9 c dhwani can you explain okay panika yes speak out what is the message of this point yes ma'am Uh, this poem, no man are for and revolves around the brotherhood of all humankind. Uh, the poet points out that all our boundaries and differences are human made. Mm. Poem, the poet show uh, tries to show us the similarities between all the human beings, and he urges the people to drop their weapons and uh, welcome one another as part of their own and uh, bring peace mm. to countries without any hate or discrimination. Mm. so who will explain further yes ramnik speak further yes ma'am uh, this is a peace poem and gives a strong message to stop all wars and look upon humanity as a unified entity mm -hmm. the poet wants the rulers of all the countries that when they wage wars they not only injure the interest of those whom they hurt mm -hmm. but also injure themselves mm -hmm. they should know that peace brings prosperity and wars bring destruction mm -hmm. hence those who spread hatred and cause wars against their brothers and sisters in different parts of the world actually mm. harm the cause of peaceful mutual coexistence mm. so ultimately it is just because of our you can say selfish mindedness or selfish minds that we are causing harm to this nature but the thing is that poet is telling us that we we should follow or we should develop the feeling of universal brotherhood okay because we all are earthly and wars are of course futile in nature they are good for nothing they never cause anything good okay and we should also stop discriminating ourselves on the basis of uh, you can say differences right so here in this poem 
The refrain is also used. What is refrain? Refrain. Refrain is repetition of lines in the poem and which encapsulates the main message of the poem. So see here, which is which are the example of refrain in this poem? Can you tell? I have given you the definition of refrain. So what is the example of refrain you say? Yes, Ramni. Yes. What is the example of refrain? I have unmuted you. Yes, ma'am. Remember, no men are foreign and no country strange. Ah, so why it is called as refrain? Why it is called as refrain? Go. Because this line is repeating the whole poem again and again. It is being repeated in the poem, and moreover, it also uh, holds some you can say message of the poem that we are not different from each other. We are same, and no country is strange for us. We are actually a part of this earth, and we should follow the policy of universal brotherhood. Okay. So this is all for this poem, and tomorrow we will have a discussion of some more questions from this. Point right. So uh, we are going to finish class here now. But before finishing, let me take your attendance.